There we go. Big. Yeah. 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 How big are we talking, bro? Oh, giant! I oh, got the boat. Jake, that might be the biggest bass in my life. That might be the biggest bass in my life. Grab his face. Grab his face. You got him? Let's go, baby! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited for today's episode because today I'm out here with my good buddy in front of the channel, Jake the Worst. We're out here on his boat today, and the goal is to catch some big old bass out here off shore chasing some shad we don't know if we're gonna catch any or not but this time of year we've done very well in the past and we're hoping we can put a pattern together today we got some big swim baits some spoons some jerk baits we have everything tell them what's on the boat now cole on uh jake's boat he finally has um garmin pan optics with live scope so we're gonna try to find some fish if we're not able to find any fish today then we just really suck as anglers uh, of course, we're going to use 2D, we're going to use down scan to try to find some juicy areas out here, and then once we locate some fish, we're going to try to sneak up on them and cast right up on top of their heads and see if we can get them to eat. But guys, we hope that y'all are excited to join along with us on this fishing adventure. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now let's have a day of hopefully slaying some big old bass. Let's go. Are you a bass? Are you shad? Are you a bass? Here we go. Big one. Yeah. Really big one. Yeah. Feels really big. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, he's huge. Oh, oh my god. That might be the biggest bass of my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Dude, it's a big bass. Oh, oh my god, Jake. Oh. Jake, that might be the biggest bass of my life. Oh. That might be the biggest bass of my life. Oh my, oh my god. Play slow, dude. Play slow. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Dude, this might be the biggest bass of my life. Oh, he may not be that big. He's big though. Dude, he oh. Bro. He's still mad. He's still mad. He's real mad. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Dude, grab him. He's a tank. Dude, he is. He is a tank. God, he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Grab him. Though. Grab his face. Grab oh. his face. Grab his face. You got him? Let's go, baby! Dude, that's Let's sick, go! That's sick, dude. Whoa! It's gotta be close. If it's not. How big did that fish look when he jumped? Dude, he looked huge when he jumped. Ah! When he jumped. Ah! He out when he jumped, bro. Ah, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was just gonna be like another four or five pounder. He freaked out when that fish jumped, dude. Whoa! Let's go, baby! Guys, look at the size of that tank. That is how you get the day started right there. That is a big one. Jake's already caught several. I hadn't really caught anything. And I picked up this big line through swim bait, throwing on that 7-8 heavy divine rod. And it just got crunched. And I knew it was a big fish when he first bit, but I didn't know how big it was going to be. Whenever he jumped, I literally freaked out. I thought it was going to be like an 8-pounder. But we're going to figure out how big he is because we got the scale. Let's get him on the clip. What do you think? I think he's six and a half. Six and a half? I'll say, is it uh, in points or ounces? It's in ounces. In ounces? I'm going to say six pounds, seven ounces. My scale's rating negative three. Come on, baby. Dude, hit seven. Ah, it's so close. It hit 614. 614. 612, though, is where we're at right there. 612. Locking dude. it in at 612. What a fish, what man. What a stud, bro. What a fish. Let me look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. We're out here on a channel swing. There's some shad. We've seen some bass come to the top. We've seen a few on the graph. And uh, this guy just munched that big old line through. What a freaking fish. Woo! One last look at that beast. What an awesome fish. Can we top this? I don't know, but that is a heck of a start. Let's get back after it, dude. Send her on her way. Oh, what a fish. What a fish. Kicked off good. Bro, let's go. Put her there. <laughs> Boom. Let's go. Let's catch some more. How's about that for versatility? Oh, there he is. Very next cast. Very next cast. Look at that. 
<laughs> Look at that. We saw one come up. Had my top water ready. Very next cast. I'm gonna get low over this guy. Get low, get low, get low. Get the boat! <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, he burped. He did burp, didn't he? He got hooked good. Now that is like one sixth of the size of that last one we just caught. What a fish. That is crazy. Two casts in a row. <laughs> Little stick. This is like my favorite topwater bait of all time, especially out in these big open areas of water where you're trying to call these fish up to it. Heck yeah. Two casts, two fish. You gotta love that. He is hooked really good though. Thank you, little guy. Go back with your big sister down there. Two in a row. Here's another look at that bait I just caught that big bass on. It's a 316 line through. It's almost seven inches. It's pretty heavy. Um, what I like about this particular line through is that you can rig the hook on top. Um, a lot of line throughs you rig the hook on the bottom and what I found is those fish they'll engulf the bait and that back treble will get you know lodged in the back of their gill and you end up having some issues. So, But with this system, you rarely have that happen. And you saw that fish was hooked just in the side of the mouth. He was barely hooked. Can't believe we got him in. It's just a really good shad looking bait. And uh, let's see if we can cast back out there and see if we can catch one even bigger than that. We're looking for that eight pounder. I know there's some eight pounders that live out here in this lake and today would be a great day to catch one. Wouldn't you say, Jake? Oh yeah. Yeah. Boy. Did you see that? No, I just loaded up. How big are we talking? Uh, I don't know. How big are we talking, boy? How big are we talking, bro? Oh, giant! <laughs> Goodness! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Jay! Did you not hear my rod hit the freaking trolling motor? Choked it, dude. Oh my god! I'm scared of your treble hook. I know. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Take your fish. Dude, when you can grab them like this, you know they're big. Yeah. Here he is, y'all. That's my biggest fish of the day. Uh, I caught him on that big boom boom swim bait right behind Cole. He's probably. <laughs> Five something, I don't know, but man, he's a stud. He absolutely hammered it. That was crazy. Your rod just like stopped. It, yeah, my rod was kind of close to my trolling motor and it goes dong and it hit my trolling motor and I just loaded up in him. We're honestly, and, uh, yeah, we're honestly really not even seeing that many fish on the graph. We're just kind of just fan casting right here on this deep flat and I mean, fish camp and smoked it. Yeah, he came one. up and smoked it. Oh, he bit me. <laughs> let go, let go. He said, stick my head in the water, you idiot. <laughs> there he goes. See you, buddy. Nice, nice. There's some big ones out here biting. Oh, come get it. Oh, dude. Like 10 fish found your bait and came up after it. Oh right at the my boat. God. Right at the boat, baby. Oh my God. That's it, baby. That's it. <laughs> dude. Right at the freaking boat. That was epic. It's a pretty good one. That, that's a solid one, dude. It's only half pound, dude. Oh, I think he's only about three. Oh, I got nailed. Oh, come here. He's barely hooked. See, I'm, I'm scared now that I'm not going to be able to. Yeah. <laughs> I got freaking smoked. There is my third bass of the day. Probably three and a quarter, maybe pushing three and a half. He's very healthy, very well built. He bit it right at the boat. Jake was starting to lose his mind. He saw something happening on the graph. I wasn't even looking at it. And then uh, he just thumped it right underneath the boat. I think it's the closest we've had any fish bite today. How about it? Let's get a weight on him real quick, just so we can see how big he is. I know we're all curious here. What do we have? Oh, baby, look at that. Four pounds even, I'll take it. We got a six and three quarter, four pounder. Jake caught like a five and a halfer. It's turned out to be a good day. I mean, this fish looks so much smaller than that one I caught earlier. It's crazy but he is very well built, really good looking fish. And there you go, guys. That is the third fish of the day, four pound bass. He looks so much smaller than that big one we caught, but that other one was just so big. And then Jake's fish was big too. His is like five and a half, this is a four, and then six and three quarter. We're working on a big fat bag today. Again, on the line through 316 swim bait. I've had a few knock it and not get hooked. And that was just awesome to see this one bite right, at, right next to the boat. We're gonna get him back in the water get back to cast and we're starting to lose prime swim bait conditions the sun is up high now uh, we've lost our wind but we'll see if we can catch some more on it ready to go big buddy thanks for the fight thanks for the epic strike let go of my thumb and you can be free 
Woo. There she goes. Let's go. I feel like those are they're chasing smaller shad. That's a little fish. <laughs> he hit it, it. Well, I don't know. He didn't look very big. He's feeling heavy. He might have got snagged up weird. Yeah, he snagged in the back. I'll take it though. In the boat. No little, little schooly guy. He got wacky rigged. But not quite the size that we are looking for. We saw some fish busting over here. I think there are some bigger ones over here. There's a lot of shad. We're seeing shad all over the place in the graph. Um, we'll probably fish over here a little longer and see if we can get one of the big ones to bite. But if not, we'll probably move back over to where we've done the most damage today. Send it back. Like a, oh, oh, fish on! My God, fish on, That's baby! A big one, dude. I don't know if it's a bass. Is it a bass or a pickerel? I don't know if it's a bass, dude. What was that? It was... It's a bass. Yeah, what it's was a bass. That? Little stick. Are you kidding? Me? I'm not kidding. That's a pretty I, good one. I brought you back here. I didn't want to. Okay. Hey ho! Oh, on the glide, giant, giant. Giant, 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 giant. Don't giant, lie. Giant, 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 giant. Huh? Not a giant. Not a big, <laughs> big though. Jake's throwing a big old Arashi glide bait. Oh, you're stealing my spot. <laughs> Dude, he felt so much bigger than what he was. Holy cow. I was just freaking out just now. Look at this nonsense. So we came back here into the back of this creek, honestly, to go on a boat ride to cool off because it's really hot. And um, I threw my little stick back here on the weed edge. I caught him. Jake threw his Arashi glide bait over there, and you heard him freaking out. Thought he had a monster. It felt but like a monster. That's just that's just the normal reaction when you hook a fish on a big bait. It's true. But I'll take it. It's a little pair of twins. Yours is a little bit bigger. But a couple nice little fish. That one there's close to three. This one here is like two and a half. I'll take it. I like it, dude. I'll take it for a little boat ride back here in the creek. We shall see you later, buddy. I thought I had a pickerel. There's a lot of pickerel in this lake, and. Um, he didn't look like a bass. <laughs> he looked very pickerelish. There they are. I feel like a live scoper right now. On my A rig. There we go. There we go. Let's go. On the A rig. Woo, I was throwing that big line through and I kept having fish smack it and not get it So I decided to put five hooks on there to guarantee that the next fish that bit it would get hooked Let's go There we go I'm not sure what number of bass this is for me. Maybe my fifth, maybe my sixth I don't know, but it's the first one for me in a while I don't know, but either way it was fun to catch my A-Rig. Oh, watch out <laughs> Maybe we can get something dialed in on this A-Rig now. We got great conditions. We got some clouds We got some wind again. It got sunny and hot for a moment and they kind of shut down on us, but it's looking good now. Man, guys, what an adventure today was out there on the lake. Um, what can I say? We caught some really nice fish today. Um, I wish we could have caught a little bit more numbers, but I am definitely pleased with the quality of fish that we caught. That monster bass right off the bat was just incredible. When that thing crunched that swim bait, I knew I had something big. Whenever it jumped, I literally thought I had an eight or nine pounder. Um, if you've ever had you know, a six and a half pound bass jump, you know, 30, 40 yards at the end of your cast, you know exactly how I felt. But that was a really nice fish, one of the biggest I've caught all year long, if not the biggest. I think that was actually the biggest bass I've caught all year long. So very happy with that, very happy with the other fish that we caught. Um, we caught a few more off camera. Um, but nothing much more than what you saw today in today's video. But this is where I'm going to end it today, guys. I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of y'all that decided to tune into this one, hang out with us out there on the lake. It was a blast going fishing and catching some nice fish for y'all. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.